Hi right, guys, how you doing? Hope you're all well. So uh, in this video, we're continuing on from my fun that I've been having with Ignition. So I wanted to do this HMI actually in, um, I wanted to do it in Ignition Perspective. So this is in Ignition Vision, but I've been playing around with this lovely software here, which is Factory IO. Now this software is just, let me turn this down a bit, a bit loud. It's incredible, literally incredible. So, I mean, it's not, <laughs> For a water tank, it's incredible. So for what I'm doing, it's pretty cool. I mean, like, just look at this simulation here. So this is a water tank that I've got here. And what I'm doing is I'm just using this and I'm sending these inputs and outputs to my PLC. And then my HMI here is reading the PLC. So you can see now, instead of having just the, the two way, just the on off switch, I'm gonna drain the tank now. Instead of having just the two on off switches there, so one, two, which are these two, you see them there. So I'm, I'm not using these two anymore. I'm now using the actual simulation as well. It's pretty incredible, really, the fact that like now I can drain the tank here and if I remove the fill valve. So what I'm doing here is I'm just controlling these two valves up here. So I've got one, uh, uh, how can I go up? Got a fill valve there to fill the tank. And then I've got a drain valve or discharge valve down here to drain the tank. And you can hear how loud it is as well. Let's turn this all the way down. So what I'm doing here is I'm just adjusting my output card of voltage. So this is just zero to 10 volts. And so you can see that I'm forcing them on and off. And I've changed my uh, ignition HMI to suit that. So what I'll do is let's simulate to make sure. So if you watch, as I fill the tank, you'll see that my light stack, so I've got my light stack. You can see on the bottom left there, my actual real light stack over here. So as that fills and it goes past this low level, then you can see that I get an orange or yellow, amber, and again there over here as well. And then the same thing will happen there. I mean, it's pretty, this, this is incredible stuff really. So apparently this tool is no good for actual industry, but for learning, like what I'm doing now, it's incredible. So you can see that I've got green here and I've also got green over here and my high level is okay. My low level is okay. So now if I now turn off my fill valve and then just turn on my discharge valve, it should take roughly about 15 seconds to get from the high level. Okay. To the low level. Okay. And I've got it in my code to say trigger a fault at 20 seconds. So if it, if it discharges the tank in faster than 20 seconds, so less than 20 seconds, then trigger, trigger a fault. And so you should see my red uh, light stack start to flash. So let's discharge the tank as fast as we can. So I've sent 10 volts to the discharge valve. That valve is now fully open and it's discharging the tank. I've lost my high level. So now we've got a 15 second or 20 second timer counting down. And if I reach my low level in that 20 seconds, then we should get a fault. A fault should pop up on the HMI over here. And that should also flash on my light stack over here. Boom. So we've got the flashing and then there's the fault warning for fast fault detected. It's incredible, man. Absolutely incredible. <laughs> oh man you know what honestly yeah so you can see how I've, I've literally got this whole factory here and i mean they have like it's, it's incredible stuff so they've got look <laughs> I, I haven't even been over to this wall but what is that a fire is that a fire hose on the wall there plus some i don't even know what those are fire hydrant door I can't even use the mouse properly, but yeah. So it's, it's pretty incredible stuff, man. You can fill the tank back up. And so, yeah, I, I'm, I'd am i like to use this a lot more. Unfortunately, I probably won't, but I just figured, you know what? Oh, well, what I was actually, I was planning on doing a PID controller, which is hopefully be my next video. But I figured, you know what? If I'm going to do a PID controller, I'd like to do it and see something moving. And I couldn't really figure out. Wait, let me, let's thought reset this. There we go. What reset? I couldn't really figure out what I wanted to control in the physical world. 
so me and one of my colleagues were discussing you know those uh, ball balancing robot machines or PID controllers where it'll balance a ball in the middle but I just thought you know what that's going to be potentially like a week's work of just building a PID just building a physical system for the PID controller to control so instead what I figured I'd do is I'll use a simulation tool which led me to Factor.io which is why I was playing around with it here so I mean it's incredible just like and this is on low detail I think if I show you what it looks like on high detail the only thing is I'm I'm running it in my VM and my VM is probably going to die. Did my VM kicked the bucket? No. Okay, there you go. See? <laughs> Look at that. So this is it in high detail. Let's make it full screen. And this is where my virtual machine might kick the bucket. But I mean it just looks incredible. Yeah, amazing. Uh, yeah. Cool. All right, that's it. And <laughs> I'll just show you actually. So watch this. I'm looking at this charge valve. The discharge valve will actually move as well. So when I open it, you see, <laughs> you see the valve move. You got sound effects and everything. So it's actually it's lagging right now because I'm running it in a VM, which isn't isn't great. All right. So now I'm in low quality mode again. Should be able to see. Look at that, the discharge valve, you can see, I, I don't know, I don't know what it's called, I'm guessing the spool, you can see the spool in the valve moving. <laughs> it's just ridiculous. And so like, you know how here, I've got a flow meter there, I can actually see that flow meter's value in my PLC, which is incredible. Yeah, anyways, cool, that's it, thanks for watching. Hopefully next video you'll see me control this with a PID controller.